This question is from gate 2014, Mechanical Engineering Paper, Set 1. Question number 6. A circular rod of length L and area of cross section A has a modulus of elasticity E and coefficient of thermal expansion alpha. One end of the rod is fixed, another end is free. If the temperature of the rod is increased by delta T, then Option A, stress developed in the rod is E alpha delta T, that is E times alpha times delta T and strain developed in the rod is alpha into delta t. Option B is both stress and strain developed in the rod are zero. Option C is stress developed in the rod is zero and strain developed in the rod is alpha times delta t. And option D is stress developed in the rod is E times alpha times delta t and strain developed in the rod is zero. So the geometrical properties are given for the rod length is L, cross-sectional area is A. The material properties are given. The material with which the rod is made, properties of that material are given, modulus of elasticity is E and coefficient of thermal expansion is alpha. Though the values are not given, they are being mentioned here. End conditions are given, one end is fixed and another end is free. So it looks something like this, one end is fixed and other end is free. If the temperature of the rod is increased by delta T, there is an increase of temperature of the rod by delta T. Let's see what happens. When the temperature of the rod increases by delta T, it tends to expand. The rise in temperature will cause an expansion of the material of the rod. It is free to expand in the length as well as the lateral direction. That is this as well as this direction. So this free end is free to expand. That's what we see here. Even if it doesn't expand from this left end, it is going to freely expand from the right end. So the expansion is not equal on both sides. It is zero on one side, but all of the effect that takes place due to increase of temperature will take place on this right hand side. And that is why we see that the strain that happens in the bar will be equal to change of this length that is taking place. Let this be delta L upon the original length of the bar which is given as capital L. So we can write it here, delta L by capital L. This change in length of this rod can be expressed in terms of coefficient of expansion and change in the temperature delta T. So it is given as alpha into delta T and this change happens per unit length. So we will have to multiply length to it in order to get the complete change happening divided by length again which is equal to, we get the strain in the material as alpha into delta T. So this is clear. Next thing, stress in the material. Stress is generated inside the material only if there are supports such that it restricts the movement or it rest restricts the expansion in this case. And here in this case, we see that this end is free to expand. Although there is a fixed support on the left hand side, complete expansion happens from the right hand side. And that is why stress in the material will be zero because there is no resistance to the expansion. So although we know that stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity by linearized Hooke's law, but in this case stress is zero, we have to pay attention on the resistance offered by the rod to the effect of this increase of temperature. Let's go back and mark the correct option. So we see that stress developed in the rod is zero and strain developed is alpha times delta T is option C. Option C is the correct to learn more about thermal stress and strain, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Analysis of Strain 4, from the course Lecture Series on Strength of Materials by Professor S. K. Bhattacharya. He is from Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. I hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.